Enjoy 1% merchant commission when you accept Lanka Pay cards. Contact these banks today. Today our country is facing a crisis and we have faced similar crises before. We experienced a 30 year long war, the tsunami and the COVID-19 pandemic. All those instances we had a parliament that represented the proper mandate of the people. Unfortunately, today we do not have that strength. There is a clear disparity on what the people want and what is represented in the parliament. The parliament was elected in August of 2020. We did not tell the people to give us a mandate permitting us to whatever we want in parliament. As the Sri Lanka Podujana Perumana, we produced a program to the people. It received a massive response and the mandate was turned on its head. What we said back then is the complete opposite of what we are doing now. Speaker, this parliament stands on one concept which is the social contract. The social contract is the lifeline of democracy. If the social contract is eroding or is destroyed, the democratic way of life cannot be revived. The next important thing for a democratic society is an election. People need to have the right to elect a parliament they want. We must award that right to the people. I request the government not to repeat what they did with the local government election when it comes to the parliamentary election. As the chairman of the SLPP, with the consent of Mahindra Paksa, I went to court on the matter and the court said the elections need to take place. But through various means, it was not held. We have decided to move to the opposition as an independent group from the Sri Lanka Podjana Perumana starting today. Thereafter, SLPP Chairman Professor G. L. Piris, SLPP Treasurer Dala Salah Peruma, Attorney at Law Dilan Pereira, Dr. Nalaka Gudeheva, Professor Charita Herat, Professor Channa Jayasumana, KPS Kumarasiri, Dr. Gunapala Ratna Sekara, Attorney at Law Udayana Kirindikuda, Attorney at Law Vasanthayapa, Dr. Upul Gala Patti, Dr. Tilak Rajapaksa, and Lalit Ellavala crossed over to the opposition. Opposition leader Sajit Premadasa extended a warm welcome to the MPs who crossed over to the opposition.